Hi guys, my name is Mick, I'm a registered dietitian and you might know me better as at Mummy Nutrition. In this video, I wanted to share with you one of my baby's favorite meals. Well, he's actually a toddler now, but he's been eating this since he was about seven months old. You'll need just four ingredients, which can be swapped out depending on what you've got in your kitchen. You'll need your baby cook from Bayaba because we're going to be doing some steaming and blending today. And yeah, I really hope you cook along and do tag me as well as Bayaba if you make it as well. So what you'll need is one sweet potato, which I've gone and peeled and chopped up here. If you don't have a sweet potato you can use normal potato really good source of energy as well as vitamin a you'll also need one tin of tuna this was canned in spring water if you don't have tuna though you could use salmon or you could use a cooked piece of white fish equally that's fine good source of protein you'll then need some broccoli broccoli is a fantastic source of vitamin c again if you didn't have broccoli though you could use any greens or even cauliflower and then you want to add a healthy fat. So I've got avocado here. When I haven't had avocado in though, I've used some olive oil, so about one to two tablespoons of olive oil for some healthy fats, or even mayonnaise. So my baby can't have eggs, so he has a plant-based mayonnaise, um, but they all do the same job. They add um, a lovely depth of taste and some healthy fats. So step one, you want to get your baby cook and you want to pop in your sweet potato and broccoli. You then want to fill the reservoir to level three and that will cook it for 15 minutes. So the steamer is working away and just to say, one of the reasons why I like to steam my baby's meals is that it helps to retain more of the nutrients such as vitamin C. So the baby cook has just stopped steaming and all I'm going to do is discard the cooking water pop the sweet potato in a bowl here. I never blend sweet potato because it tends to go quite gloopy, but what I am gonna do is blend the broccoli with my avocado and my tuna. So in the baby cook now is the avocado, the tuna and the broccoli, and I'm just going to blend it all together before adding it to my sweet potato. So this is the finished dish, my sweet potato and tuna mash with broccoli and avocado. All I've got to wash up is this and I'm going to serve it in the Bayaba plate, the silicone plate, which is fantastic because it sticks to the high chair underneath. And then the leftovers I'm going to put in one of these glass jars or if I was taking it for a picnic outside, I would put it in one of these plastic pots. Portion wise, it depends on how much your baby eats, but Henry, this would usually serve about four portions and it is freezer friendly as well. I really hope that you enjoyed this quick video and do let us know if you make it as well. Bye!